One of the big reasons people fall off the dieting wagon is that they lack energy and they get really fed up with depriving themselves. They start full of good intentions and they try to change their eating and exercise habits. They think this time will be the time that the weight comes off and stays off. Then sadly, after a while, it just gets too hard and their enthusiasm goes down the drain. Hello, I'm Sandra Roycroft Davis. I'm creator of the SlimPod program and a Harley Street weight loss specialist. Now, be honest, has this ever happened to you? Weight loss comes off at the start of a diet because you have enough willpower to eat healthier and then you eat less and you get to the gym. But then the weight loss slows down and stops. Everything becomes far too much of an effort and you go back to your usual pattern of behaviour because it's so much easier and you don't have to put any effort into it. Does that sound familiar? So why does dieting end badly for 95% of people? Well, here's why. When you're dieting, you're making yourself restrict calories. You're cutting out the sweet stuff and the refined carbs that previously gave you a, bu- a boost. You're also mindful about the amount you're eating. At the same time as this, as restricting food, you're also making yourself do more exercise and you try to get to the gym or maybe you're running three or four times a week. Is it any wonder you feel shattered and fatigued? Your mind and body then begin to conspire against you because they think something's going badly wrong. When you restrict food, your subconscious slows down your metabolism because it thinks that there's a famine and it knows it has to conserve energy to survive. The body perceives it's under threat and you're on on a hiding to nothing because its number one priority is survival. So now you can probably understand why 95% of people can't lose weight and keep it off when they're dieting. Instead of your mind and body working against you, you need to have your mind and body working with you if you're going to achieve sustainable weight loss. So how is this possible? And how does the clinically proven SlimPod change all this? Well, for a start, we recruit the help of your subconscious mind so that it is working for you, not against you. When your subconscious is on your side and it's helping you to be healthier and happier, the threat of a famine is removed and it helps you to lose weight in a sustainable way. The SlimPod uses cutting-edge neuroscience techniques to help motivate you to exercise more without you having to think much about it. You'll notice your energy levels increasing and naturally you'll start moving more with no conscious effort, thought or willpower. You'll notice you're climbing stairs when you previously um, used lifts or perhaps you'll be walking when you used to drive or take a bus. You see, all movement is exercise and a little more than nothing that you used to do is a great step in the right direction. It doesn't have to be all about the gym or getting on the lycra or even going for a run. Exercise is any movement you do and if it can be increased by just a little each day, you'll notice a huge difference. This is what the the SlimPod helps you to do and that's how different it is from dieting. You actually feel energised and you want to move rather than feeling lethargic and fatigued like you would on a diet. You'll enjoy the buzz exercise gives you because it will be firing the feel-good neurochemicals in your brain and then the more you do, the more you'll want to do. Because you'll be enjoying the feeling you get, you'll want to do do it more and more often and after a short time it becomes a sustainable habit. Another example of the magic of SlimPod.